Hey guys, um, happy Black Friday. I uh, hope you guys got a lot of good movies, a lot of good stuff. Hope you were safe while doing it and there wasn't a whole lot of people around. We tried our best. We went out shopping anyway, but, you know, tried to avoid people and masks and everything. But I think this was one of my personal best Black Fridays. Even though I didn't get like a whole lot, everything I got, I was very excited about. And I was very surprised about the price so let's just dive right into it. Here is my, actually it would have been all DVDs and Blu-rays, but these all happen to be Blu-rays this year. So let's dive right into my Blu-ray haul. First up we have The Invisible Man. I was really excited that I was able to get this one because it just came out this year, but it's probably one of my favorite movies of the entire year. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. It's not just your one of your January B-horror movies. It's actually really, really well done and surprisingly emotional and intense. Now this one I was very excited about because if you saw my Oscar reviews, you know I was really happy about this movie, Joker. I have been dying to get my brother to watch this and it's now become a kind of a joke with us that every time I say, hey, should we watch Joker? He goes, I don't know, maybe, because now that he's done it for so long, even if he actually wants to watch it, he just wants to keep the joke up. <laughs> the joke. So I'm hoping that this will be a good motivation for us to actually watch it now that I have it on Blu-ray. Um, if you haven't seen this one, again, check it out. It's, it is very intense. And the story is, is you know, it's got some issues. But like, like cinematography-wise, if nothing else, and for Joaquin Phoenix, so good. And it has so many good messages. Again, not just like another B horror and, and, and comic book movie. It's really, really good. Now... What almost won for Best Picture, and if Parasite hadn't won, this probably would have, 1917. I was really happy about this one because I'm really, really excited to put this on my projector. I've only seen it once in theaters, but um, I think a second viewing is going to be really, really awesome um, on my projector downstairs, and I'm, I'm really, really excited. It was just such, like, an experience of a movie. So good. If you love war movies, this, this is one to get. Now, I was really, really happy about that. Oh, like, I'm just really happy about all these, but this one I was very excited about because um, my, specifically for my family, because I, we've seen this like two or three times now, and it's just such a fun one. Knives Out. Um, it's just such, such a good murder mystery. And even if like you thought the mystery part wasn't great or you, you were able to guess who it was, which I, I go back and forth on whether or not I think it was a, a good ending of who it actually turned out to be. You can't deny this is just a fun, funny, good family movie. It's uh, maybe not like, you know, for small kids, but like for my family, we loved it. This is one of our favorites. Now, I talked about 1917 being uh, probably the runner up to Best Picture, but guess what? I also got Parasite, the Best Picture. And I was really excited about this one. My, my brother told me that um, it was at Best Buy for $10, and I was like, hell yeah. I gotta grab this one, and I think this is the only one of all of them that I've gotten. Um, no, actually, just kidding. A lot of them are just Blu-ray. I wanted Blu-ray and DVD as, uh, of what I could get, but this one's just Blu-ray. But that's okay, because it just means a better watching experience for the best picture of this year. And I've seen this two or maybe three times now, and every time it just gets better. And for my last one, one that I was not planning on getting... Uh, because I was going to get this and its predecessor kind of at the same time. But it was just too good of an opportunity to pass up for the price. It was right there. It was um, Blu-ray. I just, pff, I had to get Avengers Endgame. I still don't have Infinity War, which is funny. We've just been watching it when it was on Netflix and now Disney Plus and uh, wherever we could find it. Um, but it was like, it was right there. And if they had Infinity War 2, I would have gotten that one. But it was right there. I had to get it. It's just the bomb finale to this entire phenomenon that is the MCU and I was just super stoked. I'm trying to decide whether to watch it now or whether I should get Infinity War and then do a double feature. We'll see. But that was my Blu-ray haul of the the year for Black Friday and I think it's one of the best ones. It's the only one I think so far where I've gotten all recent movies that came out within like the last year and a half. Um usually I get a mix of that and some oldies or, you know, classics, whatever, but I'm very excited about it. Um, yeah. Let me know what you guys got. If you, if you went out, if you didn't, that's cool because you're just keeping us safe. You are doing the Lord's work. But, uh, if you did go out, 
and you were safe about it, and you got movies, let me know in the comments below what you got, because I saw basically about the same amount of, uh, the same types of movies, um, but it was a lot of the, the newer ones, it was like this, and, um, I think I was deciding between, like, Doctor Sleep, Uncut Gems, Toy Story 4, so there was a lot of more recent ones this time around, and a lot of Christmas ones, so, um, let me know if you got any of these, or if you got any others that I never, no, I, I didn't get to see, um, yeah, and hope that your Black Friday was good, and, and safe, and not stressful, and um, I'll see you guys in the next one.